the next part is the types of quantum numbers these are some age-old methods and they are named as follows the principal quantum numbers the azimuthal quantum numbers the magnetic quantum number and the spin quantum numbers they are denoted by the four uh, common letters which are universally accepted true for everyone we call this as the following n l m and obviously s and one thing you should know that all of these quantum numbers are dependent to each other leaded by this principal quantum numbers quantum mechanics um, traditional historical development can be found throughout the web but obviously some important names of scientists who contributed to this are Friedrich Hund, Robert S. Mulliken and obviously from Sorringer Slater, John Leonard Jones and we shouldn't forget the very important scientist Niels Bohr also. But anyhow, that's something about historical part. The azimuthal magnetic and spin quantum numbers were later developed by Sorringer and was used by him only. But the principal quantum numbers was uh, the first quantum numbers to be developed. Now what principal quantum numbers denote? Each of these quantum numbers denotes a very important fact. Principal quantum numbers denotes the electron energy cell. So in, in your previous classes we have studied that electrons are cannot roam as per their desire they are fixed within their energy levels and we say the K cell, L cell, M cell, we have this series and these energy shells are denoted by this principal quantum numbers and because the energy shells are denoted by the quantum numbers and cell also denotes the electron velocity the radius so this quantum numbers can be used later we will show it that how we can use it to find the energy of the electron the velocity possessed by electron and obviously the radius of any ion or obviously hydrogen like atoms using Niels Bohr postulates the second quantum numbers that comes is known as the azimuthal quantum numbers azimuthal quantum numbers as I have said before they all are linked together and azimuthal quantum numbers also have a link they can range from 0 to any values up till n minus 1 n minus 1 is limiting value for azimuthal quantum numbers so what do they denote they denote the sub cells now you see what are the sub shells sub shells are the shells within the electronic shell uh, sorry uh, electron energy cells so I I will probably make a new video defining them so that will be later and when I do I will provide the link in the description but for now you just un understand this value that electronic sub cells are in fact just like say we say atomic particle and subatomic particles similarly uh, in chemistry and atomic physics we define this sub cell as the shells composed within the atomic orbital levels okay like if we are talking about p we have px py pz so these are some values and how we get those values we will um, obviously get them later in another video not now that's not the topic the next topic uh, sorry the next quantum number is the magnetic quantum number and this quantum number begin from obviously minus one and it will continue up till obviously minus sorry 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 minus l my mistake minus l it will continue it will include zero and then again continue to plus l positive l and what do they denote 
they give the specific orbital or cloud within the sub cell and yields the projection of the orbital angular momentum along specific axis okay so that's what they give now the spin quantum number we always say it is plus minus half now what is the meaning of this statement plus minus half or more specifically many way we say plus minus sorry plus minus we say s so this will range from everything so what is this plus minus s plus minus s is actually uh, ranging from minus s continuing till plus s now this is denoting the angular momentum of the electron this denotes the angular momentum of the electron within its orbital so these are the four basic types of uh, quantum numbers but as I, I have said we have mentioned some new topics here so for example we have introduced the sharp cells we have introduced energy cloud one more new term energy cloud for the magnetic quantum number and yes we have introduced one more uh, interesting term that is um, the three interesting term the energy the angular momentum radius of any electron and obviously radius of an atom or more specifically hydrogen like atom so in another video I will make uh, pretty soon um, about these three topic also and then we will proceed about a little higher uh, in the numerical section on how to use this principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and the spin quantum number thank you and again I'm sorry if anything went wrong within the video it may be because it is extremely hot today and especially in India it is really getting northern India it's get terrible hot so sorry for any mistake that might have crept obviously I will knowingly never do such a grave mistake but still if it might have done I am sorry for that if you like the video do comment like the button and obviously subscribe to my channel thanks